welcome mm -hmm. back. Let's see. Thank you. Last time we spent a long time setting up the ability to mod our horse and wag, right? Mm hmm. And Indeed. we are still in the town of our th or city of our Thavis uh, with a couple of options in front of us that we were that. When I say we, I mean you. We're discussing to do next, uh, which was find trying work. to figure out. Yep, just trying to find jobs for money. Well, that was one. Trying to find uh, the special item that you could acquire to try and help drive down the price of your project. That was the second thing that was talked about. And uh, see if you can sniff, snuff out any clues as to uh, what the fuck's going on with Silas. That was another one. Um, and just like in real life, you were paused all this time you pick up right where you left off standing in the middle of the street outside of the uh, appropriate crafting guild or enchanting guild that you did this business with so the day is yours is there like a job board somewhere here just that we thinking can Funny you should ask. This is the city of a city, and uh, as such, if Mayfield has guild uh, representation for the Adventuring Guild, you could imagine that Arthavis should certainly. Let's go there. <laughs> yep. Is that like a unanimous let's go there? Yep. Okay. Oh, Matt's talking, but we can't hear him. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh. Can you set up a different mic system, Matt? Do you have anything else, or can you just use, like, the built-in mic on your computer or something. Not that he can answer me, but... <laughs> I can't stop sweating, I guess. Gross. Um, I feel like Tower's not going to stop anyone from going to hunt down the... the uh, yeah, I don't Google, think so. But I don't know I for sure. And since I can't hear Tower object, I assume they comply and we'll deal with whatever Tower wanted to do after. Um, uh, beep boop. I have absolutely no compunctions about this beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. And as you trouch off into this city that you're sort of getting a beat on, uh, you, you're kind of already in the right zone. Does that make sense? You, you, yes, it does. This is a guild area, and I can hear you. So Thank you. It seems like you've rejoined us. Uh, and it doesn't take you long to find it as just a few buildings down, you can see quite a large, I would say tavern sized building, uh, opulent from the outside with a big uh, kind of signage, mostly just this large crest, which we haven't really touched on before, but it is that of a shield with a like long, almost if I could like master sword shape to the sword in front of the shield. Is it you've got you following me, Zelda players? Mm -hmm. Like this ornate kind of hilt. Uh, that's kind of their their jam, if you will. That's their signage. Uh, in plated gold resting above this double door. Like I said, tavern size building. It it seems like it would house about a hundred people. Like that might be its maximum capacity. <laughs> Maybe that's not uh -huh. technically tavern size, but you know what? I make the rules. Taverns come in a variety of sizes. I agree with that. No two taverns are the same. <laughs> no tavern shaming here. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's so, franchised, then they're approximately the same. Well, sure. Uh, cool. So let's go in. Mm -hmm. Onward. Sure. Push past these thick, heavy, oak and wooden doors that kind of echo into the chamber as they creak open. Uh, not much going on in here right now. Uh, there might be uh, three or four people kind of clustered about, you know, two over here, one over there uh, kind of situation as you kind of make your way. You can see from the inside, this almost looks like a bank, uh, it, uh, especially of that time. So, you know, vaulted ceiling and there seems to be like even that kind of same receptacle kind of area that on a busier time, perhaps would have cubes and multiple 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 stalls for people to interact with but as i said not too busy at this current time um but you do see uh, probably a good 45 feet from the doorway this uh area and at least three attendants uh you see a dragonborn just from cursory glance you see what probably is a human from this distance and you see just like Resting at eye level, eyes above the counter. Probably a gnome. They just stand there peeking over the counter instead of getting like a chair to sit in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. 
Is this there place? an obvious place for where you go to get jobs? Or? That's exactly what I just described to you. If I wasn't clear on that, I'm sorry. Maybe I wasn't listening well enough. No, it was maybe just. Was, it's maybe not I was like a little. I was like lost in the hyperbole of it. You know, the, like a bank teller situation is kind of. What yeah. No, I know, but it's just I, not a normal place that you would normally go to get jobs in a right. normal D and D environment. But I, I get that this is that place in this environment. That's all. I, I, I get it. I guess I'm really walking into a job center. Yes. Yeah. I guess Which I, I, thought... I fucking love. <laughs> I guess I thought it was because you kept saying bank in my head. It was, oh, this is where you turn in your shit to get it turned into oh. money. So, and, and you're correct in that. It is also that. These tellers tell all. You can see can now see that you're inside. This building is maybe this, this interior that you're standing in. Maybe a quarter-ish of the actual building size. There seems to be much more building beyond these attendants perhaps a treasury perhaps offices unsure unclear all right i suppose we should approach one of these teller stations mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean we gotta talk to the gnome right it's only fair yeah. <laughs> i mean that's that's a standard protocol i see a gnome we talk to the gnome right <laughs> agreed yeah people don't put gnomes in random places and have them not be talked to <laughs> the gnome. excellent um, and you make your way to the counter, not, you know, and for Flint as well, like this counter is not built for even someone of your size necessarily. And while you are, your gaze rests higher above this desk as, as well, uh, than the gnomes, it's still slightly uncomfortable. Uh, but as you, <laughs> as you approach the desk, you see the, the gnome individual who seems to be presenting mail at first glance. Who knows what they truly, how they truly are inside, but they appear to be smizing at you. <laughs> okay, to, uh, speaking of smizing, because I've been thinking about this recently, and I hate to derail. Not really. It's okay. I love, <laughs> I love derailing, kind of, because we're all friends. And we're gonna we're gonna play the D and I promise, and we all know that. So derailing <laughs> in this situation is actually not that bad. Doesn't matter. I already did it. Um, smizing in the era of COVID has done me a lot of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else is, has that has that come up in everybody else's Absolutely. lives? Absolutely. I don't know. I'm not smizing at people. <laughs> I, mm, mm. I don't think I've ever heard that term before. Actually. Oh, it's what? smiling with your eyes, Brian. Wait, oh. what? From okay. America's Next Top Model. Come on now. <laughs> no, I'm just, it, it was a meme. Coined by Miss Tyra Banks. It was a meme in our ATP days, though, while we were all in yeah, ATP Yeah, America's together. Next Top Model was way before that. Well, yes, but specifically the I know, smize I thing. People always tell you to smize in pictures. I don't know if that was a thing in our if class. People always told me to smize in pictures. I would know the word. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so you were just naturally doing it. That's what was happening. Uh, yes. Anyways, this gnome is yep, smizing, and as you approach, it's well, howdy. Welcome to the gu- adventuring guild. How can I help you? <laughs> they appear to be wearing a nice uh, button-down ensemble, much like the gentleman that's can in your town. Can we see it though? He's, he's wearing a. Oh, it's all below the counter. What? Well, if you're a medium-sized creature and you've approached this counter, you're actually at the height. You can kind of look down on him. For what that's worth, <laughs> and you can see his clothes. <laughs> I just feel like that would take an act of like leaning over to look over <clears throat> the counter. And- <laughs> <laughs> well, based off the bowler top hat on his head, and the you can see that at least the the first bit of what looks to be a nice shirt with some sort of tie. Okay, and you can fill in the blanks in your own mind. <laughs> uh, without having to, unless you want to, fully reach over the desk to try and dress this guy up and down. Oh, I am not. Oh, well, there you go. I don't give a shit what someone's wearing. <laughs> but they will stare back at you expectantly with a kindness washed across them. As they've already said, welcome to the Adventuring Guild. How may I help you? Might have got lost in the commotion. Oh, we did not discuss in this situation, uh, in Guild Matters, who should be the one. Uh, we are Red Ravens. I believe so. I love that our name has a question mark at the end of it now. <laughs> um, uh, I have difficulty finding it. If there's a uh, a discrepancy, uh, you can simply just hand me your, 
your uh, official papers, and I can take oh, them there. Oh, yes, of course, oh, yes, of course, here. Here, 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 here you are, here. Ah, excellent, thank you. And you see him, like, look it over and jot something down. Ah, how can I help you? I'm looking for work. Mm. All right, anything in particular? If yeah. there's anything to do with elementals, I think that might be mm. extra beneficial to us. Hmm. Let me see. You see him kind of pull out a, not Rolodex, but like a, that's the wrong word, but it, in my mind, he's flipping through these papers like a Rolodex for what that's worth. But it's like a big, like accordion file that, that he kind of, from a drawer on, on his side, he has pulled open and kind of quickly thumbs through. Uh, I have a escort for the lightning rail. I have a, let's see, what else do I have here? I have, oh, the bank has a, an issue, um, possible, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, serial break-ins, uh, ah, ah, uh, not the Enchanter's Guild, but, uh, an academy here in the city. Um, that does deal in uh, summoning. Does that sound like it might be jiving? Uh, they have, seem to have... A, a, they need someone for an extermination. Uh, they, something has gone uh, hor horribly wrong. I, I, I know that that uh, academy does oftentimes uh, do the summoning elemental work uh, for, for, the, uh, uh, for the kingdom here, so I'm, I'm not sure if that's what this entails, but if it interests well, you. Those are three very... Uh interesting options that I think we'll need some time to discuss them. Is there a timeline that you'd like to complete these jobs? Uh, the, um, the lightning rail escort isn't needed for another two weeks, I'm afraid. Oh, we may just be able to take care of that during that time and something else in the meantime. Um, we will be around for a few weeks. Uh, you said the academy's here in town. Where's the lightning rail a job and uh, what was the other one? The bank job. Oh, yes. oh excuse me. Uh, all three of these are in town. We, we ah. kind of, mm -hmm. uh, Plenty of work around town then. The lightning rail uh, ends here, as it were, as you know. And, uh, this, jo If you'd like to hear more, I'll tell you. This job is, uh, well, it's actually <laughs> one of the special trains. Uh, it's uh, going to be taking a... Uh, oh, it's it's bringing some of, of uh, our tithing to... Uh, uh, Lord, uh, you know, uh, why can't I think of the word for a king? King Eris, uh, our tithing from the guild here, it's going to be transporting it to the uh, the vaults of uh, Alentia. Pharaoh? Uh, we Are we to... going Pharaoh? No. Not, okay, not well, King there Eris. you go. No, All right, mean. there you go. There you go. Uh, I don't know if I've said it before, but the motif of Allendale's kingdom is not Egyptian. Okay, okay. If anything, they have a little more Roman flair, if, if, we're, if we would even try to attribute mm. something to them. Kaiser, then. <laughs> anyway. Kaiser is interesting. I like, I like he that. He is known as King Eris, for sure. Sure. I was just going to say something else. It was stupid. Okay. Anyways, but that is that. Yes. Uh, two weeks from now, we'll be transporting transporting our, ti our tithing to King Eris from the guild, Aventuring Guild here. And uh, we're they're looking for a uh, small team just to make sure nothing goes awry. It's quite a journey, uh, even with the lightning rail all the way to Alentia. It'll take about four days, but uh, that payout is is pretty nice. And is a uh, return trip included? Uh, or would we have to find our own way? Oh, well, that's up to you entirely. I'm sure you could catch a ride back if you needed. I was going to say yes. The, the seems the lightning rail would be the quickest way back in that. Well, situation. I didn't know if that was provided to us for doing uh, the job or if we had to do that ourselves uh, uh, you will not have to buy a ticket for transport <laughs> that would be absurd but coming back we would is that that's the question yes uh let me see mm, well Here. as it is i could make percep make a not perception make a persuasion just because persuasion <laughs> is already of us, yeah, already of us. There it is. Well, oh, okay. It's Flint's fine. I, I just okay. needed one person. I should have said that from the get-go. Uh, he kind of looks you all over. Uh, you're you're relatively new. Um, I think I could swing a a, con a, a voucher, travel voucher. Yeah, out of character. How much is the uh, uh, is a ticket on the lightning rail these days? Uh, I mean, I know you said out of character. Um. <laughs> It probably I'm runs in that I would the. Know. It probably runs in the realm of two hundred and fifty gold. 
Ooh. Okay, so it isn't an expensive trip. Well, that's a lot. But, but this isn't. Expensive. This is not a. This isn't. It, well, I guess it could be. Is that say, one it's way? It's not a public or? train, but this is a diff. This is a very. Not all trains go to the vaults for sure. This one does. It is a very high-end experience with a high-end Magitek behind it. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, 250 gold is for the. Let me find the name. It is for the standard car. Oh my. <laughs> of course. Right. Well, I, um, I'm just going to kind of... If you give us a moment, we would like to discuss the options laid out in front of us. Oh, certainly. And I guess we can shimmy away a few feet and kind of do a huddle up. I feel like we could at least do one, if not both the ones here in town and and also do the uh, lightning rail sure sure I, I agree that we should probably sign up for that lightning rail job it seems like it would pay well and we'd be back well in time to get our cart um, our, well, well, well before our cart it will be ready uh, also Silas also Silas that was mm. that was definitely part of it um, in addition to both of those things I I think we should take at least one of these other jobs we can take care of pretty quickly in town. I don't know about two. I feel like that may be a bit much on our plate to take right away if this other job is still available by the time we finish the first one. I think that might be a good time to take it. Yeah. Depending <laughs> on what the uh, the academy is offering, we might be able to like swing the the standard reward depending on what it is for uh, for one of those elemental gems. Absolutely. That was my other thought coming up next um so mm -hmm. i'm thinking academy job and mm -hmm. if there's time before then maybe the bank job if that's still around but definitely signing up for the train job either way mm -hmm. okay yeah. we, that sounds like a ascent all around yep. Arcane my, my i'm losing my memory with this have i made you guys like purchase these jobs in the past i can't remember I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Okay. Well, you had, to, had to buy a job now. You had to bid on the dungeon. Yeah, dungeon. Dungeon. Yeah, dungeon. dungeon. Yeah. I don't think we had to for the jobs. Just trying right. to make sure the the experience is cohesive. I don't mind you. I'm not saying like I want to start charging. You. I'm just making sure that. No, I, I'm, I'm say, what I'm saying though is like that's an interesting thought, and if you think that yeah. the guild works better that way, I wouldn't mind you starting to do that and saying that we've been doing that the whole time. If that's the it way it kind you want of does, to but it kind of does in a way, but but the way it's always been is you just like the the jobs you can overbid and you can overpay you're just required to turn in or something but it, they have to make money as my only thoughts but i think we're okay i assume they just take off the top exactly or, or a dues type situation right exactly either way i don't think it's important for you to pay gold up front right now Fair i enough. think it's i think it's something that you don't even see for these kind of jobs mm, sure, you, sure. you are paying but you don't necessarily know it right yeah like a I lot of that. companies yeah. in our real life they're just like <laughs> the price is 9.99 yeah i only paid a dollar and 50 for it anyways uh cool so I, yeah I get, uh, we, we shuffle on back to our our gnome friend behind the counter <sighs> i believe we that? have oh go ahead so, uh, uh, nope I am no, your no, servant. No, 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 you, you, I am forever your servant. Oh, I am always here to help. <laughs> Not if I help you first. What can I do? <laughs> Light off. Yeah. <laughs> um, I believe we have made our decisions <laughs> as far as what jobs uh, we'd like to sign up for if they are still available, if nobody's taken them in the past 30 seconds or so. Um, nope. You're, you're practically the only ones here, yeah. It is not very busy. It's interesting. Huh? Um, either way. <laughs> uh, I think we were uh, going to sign up for that train job. Uh, that sounds like something that we could do and seems very much of our interest. And we'd like to see what we can do for that academy as well, taking care of whatever um, infesta infestation you said it was. Uh, yeah, yes, it's... Uh, mm. There's not much information given here, only that something went awry during one of their last summons. Uh, they've sealed off the premises, and they are looking for a 
uh, team, much like yourselves, to go in and resolve the issue so they can continue doing what, what they do. Uh, <clears throat> the payout here is, uh, let me see, uh, okay, far. 4,000 gold. Um, I'm sure that can be negotiated with the person themselves. That's that's up to you, but that is the, the enticing amount here. Uh, excellent. So this job, correct? Yes. So you see him pull out a little stamp from that same drawer and kind of punch a few places. I'll just need uh, one of your representative signatures here, here, and here, if you don't mind. Uh, Tower seems to be the one dealing with this person at this point, so Tower will go ahead and make their mark. Excellent, excellent. Uh, now remember, if you do die on the job, you will default on the uh, the job itself, and that will come at a hefty cost, but we can always collect from uh, your person or family, or whoever's still around, next of kin. Uh, certainly, and you said a second job, correct? The, the train job you're interested in. Indeed. Okay, well that's with us. Uh, as I said, two weeks from uh, tomorrow, in fact. Uh, it's to, as I said, accompany this tithing to the vault to make sure nothing goes awry it's for four days at our current rate the price is eight thousand five hundred gold i think oh, yeah. we are amenable to that mm -hmm. excellent excellent stamp stamps the areas again and then points out the parts for you to sign looks almost identical just some different verbiage the tower Assuming does the same thing. Excellent. Yep. They'll collect papers from you and stack them and open up a different drawer and slide them in a different file and shut that. Well, uh, if you do come across any kind of uh, magical items or anything like that that you would like to, to uh, I was going to say fence, but that's a bad connotation, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Exchange for coin. Uh, feel free to come see us again. You know, I think we might actually have something here. Do not Do we not? Did we pick up something? Yeah. We, I think we have a few things, right? Weren't we talking about emptying a few things out of our bag? There's uh, really not a lot in here. That... Right, that's what we discovered, I think. Oh, okay. I mean, if nobody's I mean, going to use this... If, yeah, if nobody's going to use this bag of tricks, that's a thing. This oil of slipperiness, this bottle of polymorph potion, and uh, the lightning rod, if nobody's going to do that. But I think we should probably attach that well, I don't know. If we attach that to our cart, would that actually help or would that hurt the cart? <laughs> help with what? Uh, diverting lightning that might hit the cart from hurting the cart? Or would that literally just attract all the lightning to the cart and hurt the cart more? Traditionally, a lightning rod attracts lightning. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. So probably not the... <clears throat> we do so already have metal on our cart, though, so that would just... Mm -hmm. attracted to that spot mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, do you think you might be able to work out some means of diverting electricity into the ground uh, well if we were floating that would be very difficult perhaps into a storage system of some type that you of your own creation to store that power for other usage uh, I hadn't considered it well but, no but now me, I am I, yeah, so maybe we should hold on to it. Just something to think about for the future. Yeah, but I love this, this for you. Is there anything you'd like to sell here? Or uh, <laughs> should I go back to my sandwich? Uh, uh, this bag of tricks, anybody? Uh, what, go is for it? It? what is a bag of tricks? Well, I guess it could be food for... Yeah, no, we can hold on to this. Oh, <laughs> is it a animal one? When the yeah. Animals come out yeah, don't do the All bags of tricks are animal spawners, aren't they? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, they are. Sorry, what's that, Brian? Yeah, do the animals poof? Not usually in my world. <laughs> yeah, that's DM fiat, because it could be, yeah. The, a bag of tricks could be a, a pretty good money spender in the right hands, in the right worlds. And so it, a lot it's, of it's more fun for me mm -hmm. if you're using a bag of tricks to feed a creature than to poof animals. That's all I'm saying. Agreed. And I think Agreed. that's what we're going to start doing exactly. Because <laughs> I don't know why I haven't thought of it to this point, And it's not a... For yourself. Feeding yourselves. Yeah. True, true. Uh, I do tend to lean towards the getting it fun over getting it right, just at least by a certain margin. It's yeah. It's a, I think it's if you can trust your players, right? If you're if mm -hmm. you know we're not going to just set up a world that we're just going to sit there and try to sell animals for. Yeah, it sounds boring. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm not worried about it because I feel like you would do that for a, a session or two and then be like, okay, can we actually do something now? Uh, <laughs> I got that's... what I wished for and I didn't like it. <laughs> Either way, I think cool. we're going to hold on to our stuff. No, I think we're good uh, to go for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you see him begin to tear into the second half of what looks to be a fat rabbit sandwich. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of sandwich is that? Looking for recommendations. Mine. And you see him slink off towards the back. Oh. <laughs> wow. Literally I the tried. first thing I said. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, okay, I can I shouldn't I shouldn't prompt my own insight checks. That doesn't make sense. Interesting. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. yeah, I think we uh should we head over to this academy and see what's going on. Yeah. Mhm. And so Cool. We this is I think this still falls within the same district, believe it or not. Nice. And, uh, of course, this does include directions how to get there. Maybe not laying that out to you every single time that there's a job necessarily, if it doesn't feel important at the time. But you can find your way there based on the information provided to you in this little job uh, packet now that you've accepted it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's a building that matches the buildings around it uh, that you find yourself out of, and you kind of if you decide to walk into the space, I don't necessarily want to take your agency away, but is there anything stopping you from entering this building? Nope. Okay. Uh, you walk in. You do see a few uh, people that like walking about in this space, kind of taking care of business. They actually, it's hard to tell if they are people that work here or not. It could be just the general public. It seems like this area is open to the general public. Um, and I just love handing you guys people behind counters. I really try to not do that. Or break it up, I should say. But why wouldn't there be an attendant in buildings, right? Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. This time you do see a human individual uh, wearing what looks to be like just modest robage in like a navy blue coloration. Uh, kind of just back there kind of scrawling something and I assume you're going to approach these people as a, they're the only people I've pointed out to you. Uh, oh wait before we be, <clears throat> little bit before we even go into the building. Sure. Um, yep. Yeah, so, yeah. so uh, when we approach these people who should do the talking? Uh, I thought we decided the sheriff. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure Just we to, came to that agreement before. Indeed. Just wanted to be clear. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Was that real or a joke? Okay. <laughs> Hello, we had just come down from the uh, from the job center looking for uh, someone who might help us with a quest that we have just accepted. Right. Um, excellent. Are you ready to take care of it now? Because this is of the utmost urgency. Well, once we get a bearing for what exactly we're in for, we'll determine whether or not we're immediately ready. <laughs> Uh, Very I'm, little information was provided. Mm -hmm. We're aware that there is a uh, that there is an issue. That is about the summation of it. Okay. Um. So I would. Oh, I almost dragged you to a page that I didn't want to drag to you. I just wanted to click on it to give myself more information. That would have been sad. Uh. Right. So, last eve, uh, four of our um, summoners were in the uh, ritual ritual room uh, doing a standard uh, summon in order to uh, capture an entity and use it as we do. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it, it was necessary for us to uh, bar the doors. Um, the screaming did stop eventually, but whatever's there is still there. It's not multiplying, is it? I have no idea. <laughs> Do you know what the target of the summoning was? I, I, I think it was just a standard. We often summon uh, uh, lightning elementals from the, pla from the uh, planes, uh, harnessing them in energy, using them, selling them to guilds. Uh, and the military, uh, being the guard, uh, being crafted into various <laughs> artifacts, powering them. Um, Is uh, there any of the containers that you use to contain them available that might do us some good in trying to help the situation. There are. However, it's usually only members of the school who are trained to use them. Um, oh, I think uh, this is an emergency. Uh, it is. Um, 
<laughs> Make a persuasion with advantage because. Fuck me! Why do I talk? Well, I, I, I have to make it you, talk. right? It has to yeah. be you. That's not true. I, oh, uh, probably. You said uh, persuasion with. Uh, <laughs> let, let's not. <laughs> let's not <laughs> <hear. laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What was that? That's persuasion? a hell of a persuasion. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Persuasion with advantage because <laughs> this person does appear visibly desperate. They're just on the fence. They're like, it's it, not. It's not it, for a call. Cool. I shouldn't. I, okay. Um, how do you feel about wearing hats? Literally? Yes, literally wearing hats. How do you feel? Fine. Fine. Uh, off mine. Great, great. <laughs> do required. I have to take this off? Yes. <laughs> no. no. I point to, you know. I thought yeah. you were talking about the hat that you actually wear. Yes to the hat you wear, no to the band you wear. Then I'm good. Or wait, can you wear a hat and a band? I'm going to say yes because the hat is aesthetic. As soon as the hat becomes magical, you can't wear the hat and the headband, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh. Is this hat magic? You're actually going to have to remove the headband. I'm so sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, Fuck it. And you see him kind of exit the, your space and go through a door that's behind him. And he comes back out. And he places like he's like you see him like kind of clutching like he's got if he was holding a bunch of blocks in his arms like you know like and just unruly and he kind of just dumps shit on the counter table as these like small I would say they're about the size in this current juncture they're about the size of a tennis ball orbs kind of just kind of scatter across the desk a little bit and rolling kind of has to stop stop them from scooping he's also dumped four they're in the shape of almost like a train conductor's hat four of them onto the table as well. Okay, uh, uh, do you have any idea how this works or uh, first time here? Uh... Oh, first time. First okay. time, but I'm a so. quick learner. Mm -hmm. Right, <laughs> so uh, these hats get worn, okay? Uh, these orbs are what you use to trap the, the elemental. Uh, uh, in order to activate the orbs, uh, you, you of course, wear the conductor hat, but to activate it, you're going to have to spin the hat backwards so the bill will be behind you. <laughs> that will activate the orb. Uh, but it's, it's very, 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 very important. Uh, you must get the creature down to a certain level. Uh, uh, you have to run it down. If you don't, it, it will simply break free from the orbs. The orbs are not powerful enough to contain a full forced individual. I'll have you know that I have been peeking my mic this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> I feel like we can master this very quickly. Okay. <laughs> Do aim to be the very best. How how many are in there? Because we got to catch them all. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea the quantity of creatures that are inside that room. I know four uh, of our our trained individuals uh, were in there to do the summoning. I don't think they're in any way in any sort of condition to help you if they're alive at all. Um, my name is Tathan. It has been a lovely day. Please forget my name and don't tell anyone I gave you that stuff. Uh, the door is down the hallway to the left. Second door on the left, as I said, down the hallway. Um, good luck. <laughs> Thank you kindly. A blood. Tower will go ahead and put on one of the hats. Yeah. And how, how many of these balls were available to us? Uh, roll a d6. Please. Oh no, no. Roll okay. a. That's because that's not going to give you the right quantity. Roll two d six. That's how many you got. Tower will take one. Uh, I'll take two. Uh, I will grab one as well. I guess I'll grab one. I'm taking two. No question about it for me. Because if I have extras, I might be slipping that into my pocket. If one's left on the table, Tower will snatch up the last one. Yeah, and I don't know kind how of... reliable I would be in a throwing contest. Yeah, it's just it, basically how this is going to work is you'll just make a ranged attack against the creature. Uh, for the sake of it, I would just say that you are proficient in throwing it. Yeah, so. Uh, and secondly, uh, they are definitely one-time use. Mm -hmm. And as you kind of make your way to the door, if you're doing that down the hallway. I, I, I Yes, I do have a question about HP. Mm -hmm. Have we beat, have we killed elementals in this game? Uh, technically, yes. Okay, I just. <sighs> what's your? What's the? What's the? Give me well, more. Well, I, I assume that if you faint the thing, you can't catch it. That's where I'm at in my brain. It's 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 going to be a difficulty keeping these things 
still active and trying to catch them at the same time, right? That's going to be part of what we're doing here? Or can yeah, we... Red bar, red bar strat them? is going to be a bitch. <laughs> right. Or in this situation, it's D&D. Can we just kick the shit out of them until they're down and then get them? Uh, well, I think if you down an elemental, it becomes destroyed, well, right? I, like, no, 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 I'm fucking it, it, is, <laughs> it is living energy. That's just how I see it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just dissipate the elemental, right? That's what I think. And I know we're we were just talking about things poofing or not, but I, but for me right. as a DM, I usually don't poof things that have a real physical presence. Mm -hmm. Well, but then I know like an earth elemental does, but like that's really the only one. But for the sake of it, elementals are my exception. That's how no, I go with them. I totally I get it. Earth elemental would just collapse into inert rocks. Yes. And and we do get bloody calls in this game on occasion, don't do we not? I usually tell you when something is like looking rough or looking mm -hmm. bloody or, or whatever. Yeah, I give you. I, I've noticed. I usually tell you when something's hurt. Cool. That was it. That's all I'm thinking about. Yep. Like if, if we do get to red bar damage, we'll know, right? I mean, even yeah. then, bloody is still yellow. There's probably going to be descriptive context clues in some yes. way, shape, or form. I won't be like, they only have 10 HP left. Right. But I'd be like, oh, yeah. he's slumping and trying seen. to crawl away from you or something like you know yes yeah he's running away for because he's scared of shit i don't know whatever and then if you hit him again like you're fucked at that point like i get it mm. not fucked necessarily but it's it's a possibility that a risk yes oh yeah. i'm gonna make i'm gonna make you uh <laughs> scared <laughs> yeah I'll give you that yep. i'll give you that for free fair enough okay Either which way uh, as, I'm walking out, as after what and for game purposes, it's let it, you want to go. You'd probably need it to be more than fifty percent health. See what I'm saying? Probably yes. needs to be like twenty five percent health. Mm -hmm. Why um, you just said more than twenty five percent? I mean fifty percent health. You want to take them down more than fifty percent health? I think. Oh. I think Matt figured out what I was trying to say. I was like, yeah, I, I'm, my Pokemon brain is is all over the place now. I said so. it. I said it backwards, I guess. But I, you know, I was meaning mm -hmm. it like you need to beat him down. Beat. Uh, him. We I know. don't know why I'm gendering a creature yeah, of <laughs> mystery of any origin, but you want to take the creature down to about 25%. 25% or less, but not zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as you're going down this hallway, this guy's going to yell after you, and they only work on elementals, which is obvious when you're looking at this orb. It looks like it would take energy in, but it's not going to capture a line. Mm -hmm. Have we long rested since I, I have, I'm down 10 hit points and I'm just wondering if that's not if it if that's correct or not. I think we woke up fresh this morning in a tab. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're at full health right now. Yeah. The last thing you fought was Oh yeah, you totally because you were doing busy work to get here. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you've rested since then. At, at least one day has passed since you saved uh, Lihua, I believe. What? Okay, that the yeah. long rest button just didn't even work. if it, okay. it didn't by way long of rest the recording it sure did now yeah <laughs> long rest button is broken that's true okay. i need to fix it Ooh, broken shit yeah there's shit uh, to fix. okay so also, just to clarify if we poison it it's like a 10 percent increase 20 percent <laughs> sleep right? mm, wouldn't you like to find out i would uh, if we had sleep magics the door is easy enough to sleep oh, sure. magics is oh, this, this generation of paralyzed doesn't it's actually 909. do anything. Is it? I, I hate to cut off the Pokemon adventure that's about to happen, but oh no, it's we all right. We're, we're ready. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Uh, yeah, it's nine. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm asking Matt because Matt's the one who was working in, in the morning. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's technically a good place to stop, but I'm willing to let it ride until it's a better place to stop. But uh, but yeah, I think Dom understands time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, right with the safe state right before the safari zone sounds like a perfect moment. Sure. <laughs> I do understand time. I don't always look at time. Fair. So it is nice when someone points it out for me because I'm. I did see that, so I was gonna get you yeah. to, like, in the like, next couple minutes, yeah. maybe <laughs> right to right. a point where we'd be like, and we'll pick it up next time. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I do appreciate the uh, the call outs. Yep. So uh, do I. That being said. <laughs> Yeah, that's worth like I said, I'm I'm looking at a thousand <laughs> other things, and I usually, I don't necessarily get the chance to see the clock when I'm doing that. Cool. <laughs> so uh, you find the appropriate door. It doesn't look like there's a problem, and it is this door is 
currently uh, barred, but you could easily remove the bar if you wanted. Nothing is disturbed. I assume you do. Yeah. That will bring you into this space. Can you see a little box at the bottom of this page? Yes. yes. With another, with a, so you come to, you open the door, it's immediately a stairway that descends down into a, a, this opening with another door. That door is barred twice, if you will. <laughs> and currently no weird sounds or anything like that from the other side. This seems to be the place. As, as I fidget with the hat, and it just don't quite feel right. You're telling me. <laughs> It itches my auditory receptors. No, I mean, just like the fashion of it. I've lost my smartness. I, I feel like I was always meant to wear this thing. <laughs> Perhaps we should find a way for you to keep yours at the end of all of this. I see a couple things I want to try to keep, so yeah, let's, let's work on that. Uh, but for now, shall we unbar these doors and get on in here, as it were? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. No time, not the prison. I wish I was a ground type. <laughs> All right, and between your party unbarring these doors, you push these doors open and you hear them creak as big doors do. That's a terrible door creak, but my voice wouldn't do what I wanted it to. Uh, <laughs> this space is lit as it opens up, and the scene you see Hell is yeah. this. Oh. Before you, four corpses scattered about the room, a large summoning circle in the middle, some sort of blood image in the center, and standing menacingly behind it, this almost gargoyle-esque creature holding an axe, heaving, staring in your direction, uh, letting out a demonic cry of rage, which I will save your ears from over the internet, but you can hear it right now. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I know you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh... That's where we'll leave it. I will get a better picture of this creature for you so that you can see it. That's where we'll pick up. Shra, I think you can again. take off the hat. No? Huh? I don't think we're dealing with elementals. Oh. <laughs> Is that not what they look like? <laughs> that was just not like an elemental. Uh, it does look a bit more corporeal than I was expecting. Indeed not. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I this can. is more what I was expecting when I heard summoning. Like, I knew they did summoning elementals as a job, but when I heard summoning gone awry, I thought it might have been something more like this. Not that summoning elementals couldn't go awry. Just not the first thing that comes to my mind. See, it probably will not gonna work again, but it might work. You can do it on Discord too. I know, but I, I kind of forgot. Oh, it worked Ooh, perfectly. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, and the size of this creature, I believe, is large, based on the 